respected brothers, elders, mothers and sisters, it is the promise of Allah and the declaration of the Quran that whoever will perform a virtuous action, Allah will not allow for that action to go unrewarded. Often in this world we perform good things, you are dutiful, you are diligent, you are compliant, but the authorities above you, your employer, your seniors, your guardians, they don't notice, they don't observe, they don't acknowledge, they do not reciprocate. But today I want to assure you, assure you from Quran and Sunnah that whenever you perform a good action, regardless of how small and minute it is, it will come to your rescue, it will come to your aid. So the message is continue performing good deeds. Ibn Abi Dunya says, Iltaqa rajulani fi suq. Two people met in a marketplace. They were there for business, commerce, and trade. Faqala ahaduhuma lil akhar. One said to the other, Ta'al nastaghfirullah fi ghaflatin nas. We are in an environment where people are heedless, oblivious, unmindful. They're not focused. Let's spare a moment and just speak about Allah and remind one another on good values and morals. So they did so. Famata ahaduhuma, one of him passed away. And the latter seen the former in a dream. And he said, brother, what happened? How did things unfold for you when you passed away? The Almighty reminds us of the interview with Allah. And what did the deceased say to his brother in this world? You know, the day I met you in the marketplace in the mall, and you spared a moment to remind me of Allah, and I extended an attentive ear, Allah accepted that action, it rescued me and Allah forgave me because of that. Continue performing a good action. Hakim bin Hizam radiallahu anhu was a very generous man. He used to spend a lot. Imam Shafi'i rahimahullah said, وَإِن كَثُرَتْ عُيُوبُكَ فِي الْبَرَايَا وَصَرَّكَ أَنْ يَكُونَ لَهَا غِطَاءُ تَسَتَّرْ بِالسَّخَائِ فَكُلُّ عَيْبٍ يُغَطِّيهِ كَمَا قِيلَ السَّخَاءُ That if you have done a lot of wrong and you want to conceal your vice and you want to expedite your spiritual growth and you want to gain proximity to your creator your guaranteed way is generosity so prior to his reversion to Islam he was a very generous man and he spent a lot and he continued with this action one day he asked the Prophet وسلم, the good deeds that I did before becoming a Muslim Will I be rewarded for it? And he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Aslamta ala ma aslafta min khair. Aslamta ala ma aslafta min khair. It is the very generosity that you displayed pre-reversion to Islam, which paved the way to bring you into the fold of Islam.